Thank you for joining us. Uh, we want to get started. Out of respect uh, to our panel and their time, I know many participants are still uh, being released from the National Prayer Breakfast. It was a great uh, event and got us off to just the start we needed uh, this morning. Uh, we're very thankful for having all of you here today uh, for what I know will be a very informative and enlightening um, discussion on the housing crisis and its impact on, on our community, the African American community specifically. As I said, we're here uh, because there is a crisis happening right now in the African American community. This crisis is unrecognized by most, but it's a fact that we need to raise greater attention to address. While the housing market is recovering for many, for those in our community, we're still waiting for greater solutions. No other community was hit as hard by the housing uh, crisis, and in my own state of Nevada, uh, which leads the nation, unfortunately, on home foreclosures, it's an issue that I see each and every day uh, in the neighborhoods uh, that I serve and that I grew up in. Foreclosures due to lost income, lost employment, or predatory loans that were doomed to fail devastated our community. So we come here today to discuss the challenges we face, but more importantly, to offer solutions that we need to take at the local, state, and federal levels to address them. Today's panel is a terrific group of individuals who I look forward to hearing from. We've uh, had an opportunity to have a discussion with them prior to today's panel, and uh, they're going to bring a lot of great information forward. But first, uh, I have the great pleasure of introducing someone who I have the utmost respect for, and someone I've looked up to as a leader in our community and a champion of working families. And that's none other than the Federal Housing Finance Agency Director, Mel Watts. Congress, former Congressman Mel Watt, now director, uh, and his wife, uh, Elena, have been become good friends of my wife, Sonia, and I, and um, we're just so honored and proud of his uh, most recent achievement uh, in being nominated by President Obama and confirmed by the U.S. Senate uh, as the new director for the FHFA. And I cannot think of a better candidate to lead this agency at this particular time uh, when we need it. During his more than two decades in the House, Director Watt was an active member on the Financial Services Committee, on which I have the pleasure of being a member of today. He brings a wealth of knowledge on housing policy, but also understands the needs of the community, particularly the African American community. He has laid out a clear vision for the future of the FHFA and aims to reform our housing uh, system to better serve working families. This includes refocusing Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae to expand access to home loans that are affordable. We need these types of bold steps to get affordable loans to people who need them. Now, I recently joined the Financial Services Committee earlier this year. And I had the incredible honor to fill Director Watt's position on that committee. When he left the committee, there was a huge void for, uh, created by his absence. We lost a tremendous voice for uh, African Americans and working families all over the country. Since I've been on the committee, Director Watt has been actively engaged um, in working on housing issues, and I want to personally thank him for taking the time to meet with me um, on a regular basis to discuss his knowledge, his expertise, um, and really helping to mentor me uh, as I take on this new role on this important committee. He knows greatly the challenges that we are faced with um, and the fact that in my home state of Nevada has been hardest hit uh, by this crisis. So I'm so proud that we have such a strong leader 
leading this agency. And our community needs his leadership and bold vision if we are to finally see the recovery that we desperately need. No longer will the plights of our community be ignored, and all along with my colleagues in the Congressional Black Caucus, we will continue to work with them on policies that are good for our country as a whole. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Director Mel Watt.